what's up guys this is something a little bit different um dustin and i have been talking about it and we kind of did that game last time purely spontaneously it wasn't planned or anything like that we just kind of wanted to play a game we didn't want it to be dc or none of that shit because i mean let's be real none of us are really big fans of dc so we decided to hit up the the golden eagles franchise once again the golden eagles with the sub reload league we've decided to actually go ahead right now and start going to the off season we might try and bring back the sub collab reload league it's all up to you guys depends on the support if you guys want to see it i mean i'm gonna personally go out there and say the main reason i want to bring this series back is because in the upcoming draft i have the very first pick and look who is in the draft, dude. This guy, Desmond Waller, power back, 6'3", 231, and A- minus across the board. This is my dream <laughs> running back. Like, I shit you not, if I could make a player, this is exactly who we would be. Because we've had this gentleman's agreement uh, from the get-go that no matter what happens, like, you will get this player because if you guys are missing anything because even though Inguez is is a bona fide uh I can't say star but he's definitely a bona fide solid fucking, very solid yeah he's he's a very solid player uh, this guy like I I will I, I told you before we start recording I will be shocked if this guy is anything below a quick development so I really want to see what he's gonna come out as the sim to yeah, playoffs right it. now Go for it. I, I mean, this team has to step up because we have to win pretty much two out of our next three games to even make it. And we lost two games on Sim. We're already in <laughs> week 17, so let's let's uh, let's see where we end up here. And this might end up we made actually it. being... Oh, you made it? Yeah, 10 and 6. Fucking awesome. Awesome. And we got, the, we got the first round bye. We won two and lost one. Yeah, so you guys did the same thing. Uh, Hatch's team actually actually won uh, won a couple as well. Look at that. We lost to the Dolphins 28-0 in Week 17. Where the, the, uh, the second Good. half of the draft winds up. I want to see... Dude, you got the second fucking pick of the draft. Are you serious? I've got the second and the 16th? Oh my god, man. Yeah. Oh, dude, who's got the first pick then? Oh, dude, that's so BS, man. The Pats are tied with the 49ers. Like... I have the 11th, 13th, 24th pick. Yeah, as long as they still have Carlos, I... Oh, shit, wait, look at the XP drop, though. Do you have an XP drop like I do? Oh, my I got, God. Holy shit, DJ Hearts has 36,000 XP. Fisher got 78,000 XP right now. Like, I'm shitting a brick, dude. He didn't even get this much <laughs> when I did the Rams. Uh, Kraft oh, got my, me, me, myself, Dustin, got 24,000. Flem has 54,000. Uh, Laughlin May has the most on, on this defense with 44,000. Everybody else doesn't even crack six. Oh my God. Okay, I have to, we have to oh. check out stats. Dude, whoa. <laughs> dude. Check this out. Okay, Wilson won MVP, right? Russell he won Wilson, MVP. Yeah. Hanson, your boy, got second. What? My boy Fisher got third. Damn, I'm surprised oh that God, he got... Dude. I mean, it makes sense, but he, he threw a lot of interceptions. Then, okay, so Wilson got Offensive Player of the Year, but Julio, who came in 10th uh, for the MVP race, came in second as Offensive Player of the Year. I want to see that offensive rookie and that defensive rookie though. Defensive rookie, I, Def I, I, it has to be hard. Dude, it has to be hard. Heart, hearts, hearts came in seventh for defensive player of the year. Well, there you go. For offense, for offensive rookie, uh, Fisher took it. Uh, Hanson came in second. Second, I'm talking about defensive rookie of the year. Oh, it's got to be hard. It in, has to be hard, dude. Has to be. If who, it's not hard, this second, game is rigged. Who came in second? Who came in second? Roundtree. Yes, sir. Oh, Our for team real? First round tree came in second, dude. And then check this out, right? Jake Robertson came in third on the Cowboys. Fourth is Clifton Petaway. You're fucking, what is he? Outside linebacker. Was, dude, look at this. My boy Laughlin came and in And then fifth. Wade Taylor. Yeah. Oh, shit. And then Luke Buckendale in ninth as well. No, we had five out of the top ten. Yeah. Five, Holy five shit. Five out of the top ten. I had, I had two. <laughs> that was it. 
while you do that, I'm gonna look at how Hodge did on sacks, cause that dude would have. Okay, cause, cause here's point. the thing. Oh my God! DJ Hodge had 17.5 sacks in his first rookie, like in his rookie season, okay, dude. So well, Alright, so let's go ahead and force advance. Irregardless, we're probably just gonna go ahead and do the off season because we ah oh, we didn't make Did it. Did you lose? Yeah, um, we must have lost. Wow, and the and the Giants were like eight and eight as well, and they beat us in the World Cup. Yeah. Oh, they won twenty four to twenty one, dude. I lost in the divisional. To the Giants, because they, uh, dude, I lost we the fucking Giants, dude. we were up twenty-one-three at halftime. Then they dropped twenty-one points in the last two quarters, and we didn't score anything. Okay, so super, oh fuck you! Don't tell me it's the Giants. Same team that beat the both of us. The Giants made it's, it all the way from the wild the card. I need a nose tackle, bro. My my DT is like 31 years old. This guy's six foot seven, 333. Uh, He's a big motherfucker, man. I need somebody who's gonna stop that run in the middle. This guy is this guy is a three four tackler, middle linebacker, six one two D. Literally, yeah. he is while you're doing your XP, I'm noticing that a lot of people are talking about in the news. They're talking about the the draft. Like a lot of people are saying in the All Star game, this guy did this and this guy did that. So I'm gonna go look yeah, at these draft stories for hella shit. quick. London Gun with 19 tackle performance. So he looks promising. We need a DT, but he probably sounds more like an end, to be honest. But here's the thing I need a receiver. I'm thinking about picking up a receiver to be my second slot. I've got Julio Jones, who'll be wide receiver number one. And then wide receiver number two, I'm thinking very well could be Philip Glover because I noticed this guy in the actual. He's somebody I'm watching at the moment. Looks very, very solid. Type, type of receiver I want to fuck with. And now I'm getting news that he is beating cornerbacks in the all-star game so he dropped oh my god dude larry mcgill he was the number one left tackle and now he's the fifth left tackle <laughs> he actually dropped after he scored low on his iq test that's funny as hell yeah dude he this london gun and he got 19 tackles in the all-star like i've never even seen anybody get 15 let alone 19 100 i don't care what anybody dislike the video if you want i'm getting desmond waller first eat a dick Philip Glover, here we go. So he's meant to be the second overall best wide receiver, but where is he at on the actual overall board? He is... So we've got the first pick, or the second pick, and the 16th pick. So we've got two picks in the first round, so we really have to make them count. We can take London Gun, but the thing is, I would probably have to switch him over to be a pass rusher on the outside to take over for Trent Cole. That is one direction we can go. Or we take Philip Glover to fill... Who, oh my god, he is amazing. A spec catch, A minus catch in traffic, and B plus release. That's a superstar right there, dude. If I ever seen it, man. I swear, if he's a bust, I'm a literally, like, I might have to start making Minecraft videos instead of Madden videos. Let's get into this. We're going to hit up free agency. This is really, not only when we play against each other, this is really where me and Param are going to be competing because we're going to be trying to sign pretty much the same fucking players. Ooh. So let's, let's, let's take a look at this. Oh, he jumped in there before I did. I ain't taking Breeze, though. You can have Breeze. I'm after this Nigel, dude. Oh, no. I know, dude. I'm looking at it now, and I'm like, I mean, shit, AP is there. Like, fuck. Like, I'm only targeting three players. I'm in the lead for all three of them. So, I mean, I, at this point, it's his fingers crossed, man. Wait, where is he? Oh, he dropped. Oh, shit, he dropped, bro. A minus B plus B plus. He's not even the first, the first running back, dude. I mean, I don't care. I'm still taking him. I don't give a fuck. I'm still taking him. Yeah, look at this straight away. Desmond Waller fell short of expectations in the broad jump. Is that it? Wait, here we go. Another one. From the look of his broad... Oh, it's another one about the broad jump, man. It just shows that he's lacking in lower body strength. And he, he looks pretty impressive oh, in his... Co look at that, dude. Four, f second fastest 40-yard, third strongest, and... And he's got the height as well, dude, man. All right, guys, now that Dustin's gone, we can talk in private. What do we do? What do we do? Because Desmond Waller still looks like a very, very impressive running back. The only problem is, is that his combine report looks trash. Top three skills dropped a little bit. He's no longer a pure A minus. I'm freaking out because I really want to get Desmond Waller in case you guys hadn't figured that out. But where do we go? Because we have two picks in the first round. We're definitely going to be able to get Desmond, but I mean, we just signed Nigel in the free agency. 
so that doesn't mean that we necessarily need to pick up um, that London gun anymore. We don't need London gun because our entire linebacking core, unless we start running a 3-4, which I don't really want to do anyway. How's it going, mate? The, okay, this is it. The most... This is where this is where Dustin and I make our money. This is where we feed the family right here, the NFL draft. Okay, I'm gonna take Desmond Moller anyway. I need to stop fronting on that. So here we go, man. He looks like a bit of a bust all of a sudden, but I gotta take him. Cause you don't wanna take the chance to take him at 16. Ooh! <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> okay, normal development. 79 overall. Ranked third in true jumps. talent. Dude has 91 carrying, 89 trucking, 89 stiff arm, 85 excel, 83 speed, man. So he's instantly the 39th best running back in the entire NFL and he hasn't even taken a snap yet. Oh, look at this. Even the computer knows that the Cardinals need a quarterback. Oh, what do you know? I, I don't even have him on my board. Fuck, dude. Bust? I, he's not a bust, but I fucking reached. The dude has 90 strength, he has an 84 run block, 85 impact block, but his pass block's only 73. Well, that's alright. I mean, that's not bad, though. Everything else is there, just not the pass block. Alright, so you are back on the board, sir, at 13. Yeah, and I gotta make this 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 uh, this uh pick count, because it's gonna be my last pick for a fucking long-ass time. I need the receiver, but London Gun looks so impressive, dude. Second, third, and set. Second, third, seventh, fourth, fifth, and third in everything, dude. A minus, B plus, B plus. I know that London Gun is the obvious pick here, but we literally just invested like 40 million into an outside linebacker. And unless I'm about to start running a 3 4, then it has to be Philip Glover. I'm, I'm going to take Philip Glover. It's the smarter choice. Smarter choice. <laughs> First in true talent, 81 overall, superstar development, Philip Glover. Oh my Seriously? god, London Gun was a distraction, bro, because Philip Glover is the real fucking MVP, dude. And he's a Wisconsin player, man. Wisconsin player has always been good to me. Alright, fuck it. I'll take your, take your next round picks off your hands for this shit. What? Wait, did London uh, London Gun go? Because I'm pretty excited to see where. London uh, Gun going to London? Alright, let's see. I, I gotta play on the irony, dude. I really gotta. Plus, his, his size and everything else that he offers, All I right. have to take it. Yeah. yeah, he has to. He's so, a top choice, dude. Top five. Three, two, one. Did I fuck up? Yo! What's up, baby? Oh, he's good? Okay, I thought he said he was a buster then. Uh, London is ranked 19th. I drafted him at 19th. His speed we're, def we're definitely going to work on. He's only an 83 speed, but he's an 86 tackle, 84 block shred, 91 hit power, and 88 pursuit. Superstar development. Oh, fuck, he's a superstar, though. Damn, we both profited <laughs> mad from this draft then. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna have to take this, this left tackle and just pray to God it works out because he's the last one until the third round for anything else. Fuck it, I'm gonna take a flyer on this guy. Good luck. Alright. Crossing my fingers now. Crossing my fingers. Fuck. That's not a good fuck either. <laughs> 76 overall. That's good. Uh, his rank is 31, I drafted him at 32, or 23. His speed's uh, 93, his acceleration's a 94. His man's a 77, his zone's an 84. His press is an 81, his agility's an 82. But he's got slow development. Um, I'll just, I'll take a flyer again, because I really don't need to. Yeah, that didn't work out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna watch I got. Ooh, we got a couple of dudes here. Okay, we got that six seven two. Oh, sorry, three thirty three. But we also got some centers. Obviously, my left tackles were taken. I'm gonna take this guy definitely in the fifth or sixth round. I'm gonna take the lineman. I think that's probably gonna be better off. All right, not bad. Um, 
Ranked 42nd in true talent, we got him at 105th, and he's a 73 overall O lineman with pretty decent stats across the board, but a 59 awareness, so that's literally all we're gonna have to pick up. We got Desmond Waller, who we set out on a mission to get. Then we got Philip Glover, who turned out to be the best guy in the draft. So we actually got the best two guys in the entire draft. Then Witherspoon, who should help with that offensive line, hopefully getting Waller, you know, open. And then we got a bust, a pure bust. In fact, if I can get rid of you right now, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I got to say, I'm hella hyped about this upcoming season, man. So many new pieces to put to work out there. The teams are going to be a lot more solid. All oh, and we're versing you in week one, dude. Holy fuck. I did not even know that. I am legit versing you in week one, man. And that being said, guys, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, man, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to go check out Dustin if you haven't already. His link will be in the description. Don't forget to smash thumbs up button, man, because it lets me know that you guys like what you see, man. That being said, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. It means a lot to me, and I'll catch you back next time, man. I'm out. Peace.